Hi and welcome to this video and in this video we're going to talk about translational lift and the reason we're going to talk about translational lift is because in line of sight flying it's something that you can very very easily see and it's something that you need to adjust for. In FPV flying it's less obvious because the camera is on the quad and it's affected by camera angle so it's quite hard to tell what's going on but in line of sight you don't have that issue and you can really see Transla translational lift happening and you'd have to adjust for it. So I'm going to demonstrate it because the sim does a, f does a proper simulation of translational lift and basically what translational lift is is that if you're in a hover like this and you're just kind of bouncing in on the top of ground effect which is what we're doing there, it's just sort of bouncing in and out of the top of ground effect if you nudge this quad very gently into forward flight what will happen is that as it gains speed the props will become more efficient Get it a little bit faster, a little bit faster, and you can see it's now climbing. You see how the quad is climbing, 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 climbing. I haven't changed the throttle. All that's happening is the props become more efficient due to their forward speed, and so we've now got more lift, and that caused the quad to climb. And it was really quite an obvious climb when it happened. I'll see if I can do it again and get it to happen a little more quickly this time so that we can see it in, uh, in hopefully a little more detail or at least see it a bit more quickly than we did that time so I'll just get this quad popped up a little bit higher ok and I'll just accelerate us a little bit more quickly and you can see it's climbing already ok so that is translational lift and the other thing we can do is we can get the quad flying and adjust our throttle down so that it isn't climbing anymore. Let's just try and, try and st steady this out. And then if I stop, it sinks because the props are less efficient in the hover and that causes the quad to drop. Now the reason we need to know about this is because when we're doing circuits, and we've flown around our circuit and we come back into the hover the quad's going to drop like so and we therefore need to put in a bit more throttle in order to keep it up the other thing is that as we accelerate off into our first circuits the quad is going to climb as it is now and I need to back off on the throttle to stop that climb so that we fly at a nice reasonable height and if I don't reintroduce the throttle when I come back into a hover we're going to fall down and hit the ground like that. So that's why we need to know about translational lift and that's why we need to know how to adjust for it and the effects are as you go into forward flight and you speed up you'll gain more lift and the quad will climb if you've been flying in a circuit and you're coming back into a hover as you slow the quad down to come into the hover it's going to drop and therefore you need to add more throttle to get it back to the power levels required to hover without translational lift. Okay, so that's it for this video and I'll see you on the next one.